This is the Bell Mountain Wilderness Trail, a 12 mile loop I thought I had thoroughly prepared for. Instead, I learned some harsh lessons about my abilities and limits when hiking with photo and video gear. I'm not one to keep knowledge to myself, so here's what I learned about hiking with camera gear. Study the trail you plan on hiking. Whether it's a full hour hike or a full day hike, knowing what you're getting yourself into is key for every hike. I recommend using the All Trails app and any official websites for the trails, parks, or whatever you're getting into. These resources will give you trail length, difficulty, elevation changes, user reviews, current conditions, and so much more. Prepare for that hike. Before you can worry about what camera gear you're taking, you need to have the absolute essentials for a pleasant hike. I highly recommend that you have a hiking backpack with a 2-3 to three liter water bladder. It's a quick, easy, and manageable way to keep yourself hydrated. You should also bring food with actual nutritional value and resealable packaging. A small first aid kit is also a must, and depending on the time of year, so is effective bug spray and sunscreen. Lastly, a trail map is crucial. All Trails has a paid version that lets you download maps so you can use them even when you have poor cell signal, which is the vast majority of the time on trails outside of city limits. Choosing the camera gear. Whether you're taking pictures, video, or a combination of the two, you don't want to be weighed down any more than you have to be when hiking. Take only what is highly probable for you to use. For this hike, I brought my DSLR, 18 to 55 millimeter lens, 10 to 18 millimeter lens, Peak Design lens kit, spare camera battery, and field cleaning supplies. I also brought my GoPro with the bare minimum accessories I would need to record the hike. I opted to keep my small drone in the car, something I regretted when I reached this part of the trail. I tend not to take a tripod hiking, but will occasionally bring a monopod. That hiking backpack I mentioned a bit ago, it should have a built-in rain cover for when the weather doesn't behave itself like you were hoping and you can quickly stash the gear that isn't water resistant. Know your capabilities and limits. This was the hardest lesson for me. I was confident I could handle a 12 mile hike if I gave myself an early start and the entire day to complete it. The harsh truth of that was that the elevation changes cut my limit to 8 miles. And I found that out when my best way off the trail was to complete the trail. This physically wrecked me and my plans for the next two days of hiking. I still managed to explore two more unique natural areas, but spent far more time recovering at my lodging because I pushed my limits too far. So my final tips are these. Know when you've reached your personal halfway point and set aside time to adequately recover from the hike. Hopefully this video helps you make the best of your future hiking adventures. If so, please leave likes and comments, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, now's a good time to do so. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.